Every finite integral domain is a field. Let's go ahead and prove this. So proof. So suppose R is a finite integral domain. So in order to show that R is a field, we have to show that every non-zero element of R is a unit. So take any little a in capital R, a not equal to zero. And we're going to consider the set of all non-zero elements of R. So set R star to be equal to the set of all non-zero elements of R. Now we're going to define a map. So define phi from R star into itself. So R star by, let's see, phi of x is equal to a x. And the goal is to show that this is a surjection. In other words, it's onto. If we show it's onto, then since 1 is a non-zero element, that means that a x is equal to 1 for some x, and, and we have shown that a is a unit. Now, instead of actually showing it's surjective, since r star is a finite set, we're going to show it's injective. And since any injection from a finite set into itself is also a surjection, uh, then we're set and the goal is accomplished. So we'll show it's injective. So claim phi is injective. So suppose phi of x is equal to phi of y for some x, y, and r star. What does this mean? Well, this means that ax is equal to ay. And then subtracting ay from both sides, we end up with ax minus ay equal to 0. Hence, we have a times x minus y is equal to 0. Now here is the key step in the proof. Since R is an integral domain, we have either A equals 0 or X minus Y equals 0. should be noted that A is in R star which is also in R, and also um, x minus y, uh, x is in R, y is in R, so the difference is also in R. Uh, note, a is not 0, so x must be equal to y, right? We said a was non-zero at the beginning. So this shows, this shows phi is injective, or I'll just say 1 to 1. Now, since any injection from a finite set into a finite set must also be surjective, this means phi is also surjective. Hence, phi is also surjective. Now, since 1 is a non-zero element, it lives inside R star. And because phi is surjective, there exists an element which we can call x in R star such that phi of x is equal to 1. And what does it mean for phi of x is equal to 1? What does that mean? It means that ax is equal to 1. And this shows a is a unit. So therefore, R is a field. R is a field. So I hope this video made sense.